Hey guys, how y'all doing today? How are you guys doing? Blessed Earth Strong. My name is Wasori Jade and I am the tutress of this channel. Guys, today we're going to talk about this book right here. One of my favorite books for the spiritual, okay? This is The Four Agreements. The Four Agreements. If you have never had this book or read this book, Amazon ebooks ibooks wherever you can get it go to the i have seen this book in the library as well um bookstores this book is a great great thing to read especially if you're a newbie in the craft we're going to jump over a little bit of this book um i'm not going to dive too much into it because while i'm talking to you about this book here the four agreements and it is by Don Miguel Ruiz. It's a Toltec wisdom book. Once, um, while I'm going over this book with you, in uh, general, just giving you an idea of how the book is and how good the book would be for you if you are a newbie witch to spirituality. I'm going to also be dressing and fixing my own trifecta candles, okay? And sorry guys, I need a I need a trifecta in my life right now. I'm gonna be doing a road opener candle, dressing and fixing, and um a big money candle, big money, and also a protection candle. Now this one here is a is a dual. It's for uncrossing, for uncrossing your money, woes, for fast luck, um, for success, jinx removing, protection from evil, to gain power. And this one here is the sweet smell of success. Okay. So I'm burning this one, this one as well as a road opener in a trifecta. I usually burn trifecta candles when I'm burning for myself or um, for things that's going on in my life. I usually do three candles at one time. That's just how I hoodoo, right? And then I'm gonna be dressing these candles with my oils. This is, let's start with this one. This is my money oil. Go with the big money. This is my road opener oil. Yes. You see that? That's my road opener oil made by me. And I'm going to um, dress the Abre Camino candle with this um, oil. And also my Protect All Around Me oil self-explanatory is going to go in the protection candle. Now this here is down to the juju or the ashe of the herbs. This is the best part. You could tell I use my oils, right? Use your oils. If you purchase oils and it conjures good for you, use it. I'm going to put that in the bottom. I never throw that away. That is the, that's the good stuff, right? That's the herb that has been sitting in the oils, magnifying its powers. So I'm going to use that as well. Um, I have my Florida water to cleanse. And I'm also gonna couple it, I'm a super dress mom, cause that's what I do. I'm gonna add gallon go root. This for doubling my money on the money candle. And I'm gonna also use some sage leaf for protection, deeper wisdom, healing, and prosperity. It gives me all four. And when I dress my candles, guys, I only dress with herbs that are resonate with me at the time. You make sense? So spirit, spirit led all the time. That's what I do. I've already clipped, clipped my wicks to how I like it. And I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my candles right quick.
Give me a second. All right, guys. Now that my candles are cleansed and ready to be dressed, let's talk about the Four Agreement, that book. Okay? Always place um, holes in the top to add the conjure oils into the holes to magnify the power of the candle. But um, let's talk about the Four Agreements now. In this book, it's gonna give you four different agreements or what I would say is how to live peacefully and gain power and be in spirituality, basically. All right. So the first one is to be impeccable with your word. Y'all know that words speak life. Words can be poison. Words can be power. Speak with integrity at all times, right? Speak with integrity at all times. And the first one I'm dressing is the big money candle, okay? Say only what you mean. When you are speaking impeccably, say only what you mean. Because again, what that means is it words speak power. And you can magnify your words. You can hurt yourself just by the words that you speak. Avoid using words like I can't or words that speak against yourself or to gossip. That's that low pussy uh, vibrational stank pussy energy gossiping that I can't stand. I done talked about that before. But don't do that. Gossiping? What kind of man? Ain't no magic in that. Ain't no power in that talking about people. Why do people do that? Certain people do that. But in my space, where I am now, if you come into my space to give me that low um, vibrational energy, I'm going to tell you that's not my experience and I'm 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 going to be done with it. Like no, you're not going to call me to gossip about somebody else's business. What does that have to do with me or my money? Or me or my time cuz time is valuable. You're going to use that power of the tongue to speak the speak in the direction of yourself truth as well as love. Growth Power words. I anointed it with sage, the big money count. I'm going to add some Gallinger root to it as well. But, yeah, that's low vibrational shit right there. Gossip and talking down to yourself. Don't do that. Think about what you see. Even your thoughts are, are um, powerful. Even your thoughts are powerful. Number two is... Don't take anything personally. Don't take nothing personal. People going to say what the fuck they want to say. They going to come for you. Because I got a hater right now that dislikes my videos for no reason. Which, again, that one hater can't make me or break me. I don't take it personal. I take it as they need. They got a lot going on in their life. And my motherfucking positivity upsets their demons. That's how I feel about the situation. So, because there's there's just things or they just don't like your content. But my thing is, why are you taking it personal by hitting dislike, the dislike button when you don't have to? You can keep scrolling. But that's their personal power. That's what they think. Nothing others do is because of you. So, right now, I'm on the Aubrey Camino candle right here and I'm about to anoint it with my road opener nothing others do is because of you you know what I'm saying what others say and do is a projection of their own reality 
their own dreams, their own desires, or what they want to do. Well, it don't have nothing to do with you, so why are you taking it personal? When you are immune to the opinions of others and the actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. You won't be the victim of petty things. Because you're not going to take that shit personal. You're just going to walk off, walk away. And this one here I'm anointing with um, the sage leaf. And this is for healing. You know, the Abre Camino is a road opener that removes all blocks. I want it to remove all the um, unhealed places in me. I want it to remove blocks in my mindset for a deeper wisdom. Remove any blocks in my way to my bank account, to prosperity. Yeah. So done. Now we're going to work on the um, protection from evil candle. But don't take stuff personal, guys. It's unneeded or un energy that you can save for something that's worth something. Six. Number three, it would be to don't make assumptions. You know, we always said that when you assume something, it makes an ass out of you. Right? So that don't never make assumptions about something. Nothing that is assumptive is usually necessarily what they say. You assuming it's this and it's that. It's really that. So don't assume unless you verify for sure 100%. Don't, don't assume nothing. So... Find the courage to ask questions, though. Find the courage to ask questions. And to express what you really want before you assume anything. And I'm anointing it with my, I'm anointing this one with my protection, um, protect all around me oil, conjure oil. Available in my, in my store, too, if you want to purchase you one. It's full of herbs. Y'all know I'm a heavy-handed conjurer. You ain't gonna see nothing but conjure in my bottles. Um, you can communicate with others as clearly as you can avoid misunderstandings, sadness, drama, just by communicating what's going on or asking a question what's going on. Okay. Just communicate with just that one agreement. You can completely transform your life with not assuming anything, getting the facts, getting the answers from the beginning the first time. Without, if you know you think somebody has a problem with you, a problem per se. Instead of assuming it's a problem, you want to call, be very, um, don't be aggressive, be very, hey, I need to ask you, I heard this, is there, you know, what's going on? Be, be a woman or man about it. And if they come back with unnecessary energy, walk away and you already know what it is. Now you can assume to know that they, that motherfucker don't like you. Or that motherfucker got a problem with you. And that's when you act accordingly. Okay? Mm -hmm. Last but not least, always do your best. Always do your best. Your last thing you want to do is not do your best in anything. Your best is going to change from moments to moments. You may get tired. You may have energy. You may see 
negative vibes. You may see high vibrational vibes from it. But at all costs, always do your best in everything that you do. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to being sick, right? Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, as well as regret. Always do your best at everything you do. And for me, y'all know that's my bit. I do the best in everything I do, but I super do my best when it comes to being transparent, being truthful, being a spiritual mother, being honest and upfront, but being also the queen of boundaries. Okay? Doing my best coincides, coincides with all of that because my best is when I know something is coming towards me that is not in my best interest. I know how to release and let go and walk away without falling in that mindset of deep regrets, drama. I don't do well with drama, babies. I am a total empath. I am a total Libra. And my scales have to be balanced. I don't do good with drama. I don't do good with anxiety. I just have to be balanced. And that is the four agreements. So you're looking at this book here. Be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't take make assumptions. Always do your best. Go get this book, y'all, if you haven't had it. It is very clear, simple to read, very uh, understandable, very relatable to me. Great book. And guys, candles are dressed and anointed. Now, all, what I do is I take little glasses like this. I have a lot of these glasses because if I do a big um, group ritual... If I do a large group ritual, I always put my seven um, glass candles in these jars, just like that, a little water at the bottom, because I never extinguish my candles once they're lit. If it's a seven-day candle, it's going to burn for seven days. And to um, not cause or stay as fire protected as possible, I take this and the candle, place it in some water. Maybe I have about 10 candles in there in these jars and I've never had an issue. Is it because I do this or is it because I'm super protected by, um, by source? Both. <laughs> Both, baby. So I'm going to take these off camera and I'm going to um, pray over them and I'm going to light them and I'm going to let them burn. Yeah. And I'm going to keep them lit. All right, guys. I'm tired. Mama, Mama is tired today. It's a little gloomy outside. So, um... You can tell the fall is coming in. I can tell. I love it. The energy, um, the crispness a little bit. You can tell it's coming in. So, guys, please like, subscribe, and support your girl channel. Let me be your mother in spirituality. Um, come on in. Let me love on you. As always... Go to my site if you want anything or need anything in a spiritual form or um, to work your magic, visionsbabasori.com. And did I say don't forget to like, subscribe, and share? If I didn't, there you go. I'll talk to y'all later, okay? And go get this book, The Four Agreements. All right? Blessed are strong. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.